can see it as well. Um, yeah, so thanks for the invitation and yeah, also a great chance for us to exchange with you and what others are doing in community management. Um, my name is Francisca Reiter. I'm a program manager in HR in the field of competency development and reskilling. And yeah, I have my colleague Ola Wolinska with me. Um, she is in our project, the one who's responsible for engagement and communications. Um, and as you can see in the headline, the project is called Skills Hub. Um, you will see further on what's behind. Um, and yeah, for that, we will give you a short insight and exchange with you what we did there. So what we planned is, um, yeah, of course, explain a little bit what's behind the Skills Hub as a, a learning platform within CF and um, how we built awareness there and um, yeah, raise the interest and then the most important point to keep our employees motivated to continue learning there, not just to go there once and forget it then. So really to have a continuous process there. We also summed up a little bit our takeaways and yeah, are looking then forward for your questions and exchange here. Um, and before we start into all the topics, we, we brought a short uh, video with us. So that's the, the promo video we, we had to launch the Skills Hub um, that was last year in October um, with the topic of digitalization. And so we start with that video first and then we step into the topic. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> As you can see, um, SkillsUp is a, a e learning platform we use, and um, it's a specific platform um, we implemented to learn about megatrends. Megatrends, it's all that big topics that influences our transformation within setup and um, we currently have two big topics available on the platform. It's e-mobility and digitalization. Um, e-mobility was launched in um, September 2021 and digitalization last year in October. Um, so this platform is there for all employees to get a um, yeah, basic understanding of the topics and to really be part of that transformation, um, understand why we are transforming and why specific decisions are made and go to that future topics we are really, really looking at. Um, Per megatrend that you get a feeling for it, we have up to 40 hours yeah, of content. Um, for the um, digitalization topic, we, we had 11 knowledge fields, um, wider knowledge fields um, to really divide that big topic in, in smaller parts. And we released um, one to two knowledge fields per month um, that really the learners can learn step by step. Um, and on the platform itself, it's um, a mixture out of self-paced learning courses um, and all the live sessions. And the live sessions is a mixture of uh, internal and external experts. So for those who do not want to only learn um, online, they can also um, join that live sessions there. Um, and in our project, it was not only the aim to, yeah, um, um, implement all that topics. It was all really to get the people on board it and to shape also that learning community that the people keep on learning um, and really also engage with them. And yeah, for that, we wanted today exchange with you what we did there because we also had a community in our intranet, what was a central part in our engagement stream. And yeah, 
with that, I will hand over to my colleague Ola, who can really give the, the deep insights what we did there and how our communication looked like. Yeah, thank you very much, Franci. Uh, actually, I feel that it is a good continuation of what Steffi was presenting, at least as far as I understood uh, from the transcript. Uh, and thank you very much, Steffi, for the wonderful presentation. It really gave me a lot of insights and really uh, good, um, really interesting information. Uh, so we're definitely going further. Uh, but let's now take actually an example of uh, such a communities that actually one of the your learners in your learning uh, course could uh, take further. Uh, so we are there. Uh, we are building the uh, community around the big topic of the learning about digitalization. Um, to give you a better overview of what is it about. I actually used business model canvas and this is one of my recent learnings from skills have actually as well. Uh, we just had a session on that uh, last week, um, how to use business model canvas uh, for your business, for your products and for your projects. So I took the opportunity also to present uh, this kind of overview um, for you. Um, for those of you who do not maybe use the Canvas daily, this is a quite popular way how to visualize the key elements of your um, product, of your business, of your project. Uh, and we also did it uh, to kind of visualize the key elements uh, to explain vast uh, idea of learning platform and of building community around it in our organization. So, uh, of course, I just did uh, some basic elements of the canvas for this presentation uh, just to maybe give you the overview. Um, what is it about? So let's start first with our customers of our projects. And of course, these are Z ZF employees with access to personal computers. And uh, just um, for your awareness, this re really means a huge, huge group a huge international group, a group of all functions, of all um, specialists that you can imagine uh, working uh, anywhere in um, in very strange, uh, sometimes localization, even some um, oceans uh, when we were taking, uh, taking a look at the map when our people are uh, actually uh, located. And um, it means that we are using most of the content be lingual, be in two languages in English and in German. So switching in between languages is like everyday, uh, everyday work for us. Uh, then if we took a look at the value proposition, Francesca already said that uh, we really have a great valuable learning content. So this is all about digital megatrends, which is really key to ZF and its nearest future. Uh, we've got a really cool, attractive online uh, form um, of, of the learning that is there. And what is important for many employees that they can learn actually in the way they prefer it. So there are courses, there are live sessions, there are media library with podcasts, with videos, articles, whatever people prefer. Uh, but uh, this is not so much different from the other learning content that we have at ZF. And uh, our main um, thought also behind is that um, our platform and our learning community is really about bringing new inspirations and bringing something new. Um, I saw in one of your backgrounds, Learnify your work, and this would be a kind of statement that we would also have here. And this is what we believe we are bringing uh, with the platform. Uh, then let's take a look at our partners because we are not alone. That is a really huge organization and we really take great support of our learning partners. So these are ZF. Ola so, oh, for me. Mm -hmm. mm. For me too. So maybe she's trying to reconnect. Um, I like the business model canvas, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a very uh, nice way to present it, uh, to present your work. <laughs> hey. And now she's back. Oh, yeah, and we have you back. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. oh, sorry. The storm is coming. in life. <laughs> And the storm outside. So let's 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 hope that I will uh, get farther. If not, Francie, <laughs> please step mm -hmm. in ahead. Um, yeah. So digital experts. I hope you heard it. And then digital communities, uh, which we we exchange also uh, in our um, reality. 
done uh, further. Uh, customer relationship, and this is where we are really thinking um, what is actually the value that our um, customers, our uh, learners see in relationship to us. Uh, we really inspire, we really aspire to be a learning partner, inspiring our learners to navigate the fundamentals of tomorrow's skills. This is our claim, and we are really believing that this is how we are supporting our employees. And for this, uh, we are running the big community. And to keep them with us, we use different channels. Um, it is not only virtual community, so we are not um, only focusing on that because of different reasons, also because we've got very different audience, uh, but we are using different channels to get to them and to keep them with us. And now uh, let me take you further and to show maybe some of the means we are using um, to manage engagement of our community. So. As a first step, we always want uh, and we always we had to from the beginning to being awareness of our learners that the program actually is here. As I said, ZF is huge multi-level organization and it is um, somehow a challenge to get to everybody to know actually that there is a learning platform available for them. And for these, we either use um, as a first step always um, some um, spread the word communication. Either we use traditional emails, and it's funny to say that emails are somehow traditional, but yes, they are. You can see on the left uh, the way our newsletter looks like, and then on your right you see a pieces of company news which are shared in uh, intranet. So this is how we, you know, uh, throw the net uh, just to capture as many fish as possible to catch people's attention. Uh, we also take a careful track on the numbers to see how our um, newsletters, uh, how our news are efficient. You can see here um, a graph showing uh, increases of engagement on the platform when our um, communication uh, pieces are um, thrown. And as you can maybe also see, although the letters are really small here, uh, the red triangles, these are the peaks which come always with the mailing. Um, so it is a kind of sad to us because we're really putting a lot of effort also in a virtual community, but the facts here are um, the facts are still the same. Does everybody still see the canvas or the rest of you see the graph? Yes, yeah, me too. Yeah, the canvas. The yeah. canvas. So it's kind of frozen. Aaron Richie. Uh, ah, but um, Victoria sees the graph. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, ah. maybe, maybe you can see the take control button again, and because you um, were kicked out in between. Uh, yes, I just see that I'm in full control here. Okay. Francie, maybe you can take control from me and then um, give it back. Hmm. Now we see. OK, let me yes, share then first. again. Yeah. It will take a moment, so maybe I will tell you what you could see on the graph. <laughs> there should be uh, bars showing. Actually, OK, now please give me a thumb up when the graph is on. I see Rebecca nodding, so yeah, cool. I really like the avatars there. <laughs> so uh, the high the high bars are always behind uh, the mailing sent, uh, unfortunately or fortunately. So there is some traditional but a good uh, and always working solution uh, to reach the audience. But also um, we see that um, uh, if we stop posting in the virtual community, then the engagement stops in between. So we need both sources, but to get a high awareness, high attention, uh, then uh, the news or, or emails are even better. Then once we um, spread the words, then we want to get people really interested to get them um, uh, find out more what is the content about. Uh, and for this, we use uh, various live events. And um, um, the, the the left picture you can see from the kickoff meeting. Then we did it in the middle of the of the program, just as um, uh, to remind everybody that the platform is still there. Um, and this is really catching the attention and really convincing people that um, that it is something for them. 
on the right, you can see the live sessions, uh, which Francie and I mentioned. Uh, these are like this um, face to computer meetings uh, to bring all the learners at one time and to keep them focused on the topic, maybe to encourage them to further investigate the topics in the uh, online courses or in some other materials. And uh, from the feedback we get, this is one of the most appreciated features on the platform. So live, live sessions rules, just as we meet now, this is always a great occasion uh, for exchange. And then uh, the keeping people motivated for the exchange. This is where we actually host the virtual community. And this is the apple of my eye. And this is my favorite part of my work. So um, our virtual community um, is uh, hosted in our internal inter internal intranet. Uh, it has features maybe more like Facebook or LinkedIn, so quite traditional to what we see in social media now, but totally sufficient when we think about the company uh, company social media. Uh, our community was founded in 2021, and as you can see, as you can see. Uh, there are almost 4,000 subscribers at the moment, so people who are actively working there and for actively exchanging um, at least from time to time. Uh, this is open to all ZF employees, so either this one who are actually learning or not yet learning, they are part of the communities. And at the beginning, we were thinking about it as a kind of a self-helping community, but what we actually see that this is uh, the best way to update people regularly about what is what are the new features, new courses, new live sessions on the air, uh, uh, and plus we use um, some additional activation I will just show you in a moment uh, and we're really proud to say that this is far the biggest community at ZF this is like a great achievement of our team especially in the short time um, and the special the special activation uh, I was referring to um, so except for the normal updates what is on on the platform something that really works and something that is really high engaging and bringing a high interest on the platform is always the gamification so the additional activation uh, challenges we used um, it is quite high effort for the project team and not to make people tired of too over simulated we use it uh, just uh, once in a few months but tracking the numbers always show us that it is highly efficient so what we do uh, we usually um, prepare a kind of a multi-channel campaign uh, which starts for example in our community or with the mailing and then takes people uh, through the community uh, to the platform through different um, content pieces on the platform and results in some nice um, nice um, reward. It doesn't have to be a big price. Uh, we started with a small uh, gift bags, but now uh, even got to the virtual presence and it's uh, also um, well appreciated. One of the first challenges we had, uh, the green person you, you can see uh, on the left is the Grinch who stole a uh, presence and uh, challenged the digital um, um, uh, besties uh, to, uh, to help the Christmas um, return to all people. And um, as funny as, my, as it may sound, in the Christmas time, it was really widely popular. People were um, sending us uh, thank you notes and um, presenting the virtual certificates of Christmas helpers of, of Santa. So it was really, really cool and well perceived. And we could see on the platform that people keep uh, learning, uh, that they keep high engagement even during the Christmas time, which is usually very slow. And um, yeah, and usually people don't think about learning and about digitalization. Uh, so we took it as a great success um, for the for the team. So uh, talking about key takeaways, let me sum it up. Um, first always first about the value um girls love diamonds but all people love uh, things that have value for them uh it was really important for us within the team to define what is the value for our learners and what is the value of the community of the community so they can join and they can stay in uh, so that would be the first takeaway i hope you are taking with you 
The second one, uh, plan the community activation activities through all the time. Um, we are meeting regularly with our editors uh, just to plan in details, uh, just to have some content just in case nothing else shows up uh, from the um, from the um, community members themselves. Um, and the third, uh, let me say that my mother always used to say that, you know, life is no fairy tale and work is not about fun, but I don't believe it. Work is about fun and it's really important to give fun to all the participants and all, all the members of the community. So I'm really happy to be in the position when I can have fun and share fun uh, with the community members. And uh, with this, um, I saw there are many questions in the chat. Um, maybe we can address them directly 